to Cupcake Addiction's Minecraft Creeper Cupcake tutorial where I'll be showing you how to make this great Minecraft Creeper Cupcake. Lots and lots of requests from you guys for something Minecraft so the Creeper is what I bring you. Tools and equipment that we will be using today, I've got my corn flour shaker with just a little bit of corn flour in it, you can also use icing sugar. I've got some green fondant, I'm using fondant today, you can also use modelling chocolate. I've got a paintbrush, I've got a very sharp knife, a butter knife, a fondant roller, a regular rolling pin will also do. I've got some of our perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting which I've tinted green. Doesn't really have to be green, I just tinted a green to keep with the whole Minecraft theme. I've got a piece of soft eating black licorice. Now, soft eating because when you do squeeze it, it just squeezes out of shape. If you cannot find soft eating licorice, you can also use just black fondant. I've got some green liquid food colouring. I found liquid easier to work with for this. You can also use paste, but you may just not find that it slides onto your fondant quite as well. I've also got my cupcake. Now I've baked my cupcake in these fantastic cupcake cases that I found. Here in Australia, I found them at a shop called Wheel and Barrow, and they're quite a thick cardboard sort of a case. So you don't need to stick them in any sort of a tray when you bake them. You literally just pop in your cupcake mix and sit them on a baking tray. Not in a cupcake pan, not in a square shaped pan or anything like that. I recommend using a square cupcake case. There are quite a few different ones around. Because the Minecraft character is square, everything in Minecraft world is square. But you can also use round if you like, if you can't find square. Let's get started. Now firstly I'm going to take that cupcake and I want to just shave off any extra height. You want it to be almost almost inside the cupcake liner a little bit. So just shave it off so that you don't have anything poking over the top because we want it to be nice and flat to keep it that square shape. If you love this tutorial, we have many, many more on our channel My Cupcake Addiction. So make sure you head over there for a look and hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Now I'm going to take some of this perfectly pipeable buttercream frosting and I'm going to spoon it on, knife it on, and I'm just pushing it out to the edges. Try not to go over the edges. You can see there by cutting down the top of that cupcake we've got a lovely flat surface to work with and that's what we're going to be attaching our fondant to. Pop that one off to the side and we'll just sweep up a little bit of these crumbs so that we don't get any of them in our fondant. pop down some corn flour. We're just going to roll that fondant out. Now I went with a slightly thicker piece of fondant than I usually would. Just give it a nice little knead and make sure that your, your fondant is nice and soft to work with. And then I'm just going to roll it into a ball which just gets rid of any seams and creases and press it out into a bit of a disc just to get us started. Give it a little swipe around in that corn flour to give it a nice coating on the back or the icing sugar, powdered sugar, depending on what you're using. And I'm just going to roll it out. Now as I mentioned, I'm going a little bit thicker on that than I normally would. I normally like to have my fondant really thin, but I'm just going a touch thicker because of the type of cupcake case that we're using. I'm going to take a clean cupcake case. And I'm just going to push it down so that I get the nice indent so that I can work out roughly what size piece I need. And then taking my sharp knife, just cut around that imprint. All right, just neatening the sides off with my fingers there, just to neaten off any rough edges. And take your cupcake, place your fondant on top, and just push it down. meeting up with the edges nicely. So you can see there why I've tinted that frosting green, just in case a little bit should come out the sides. Wipe it around with your finger and you're not really going to notice it at all, but better to be green than white or, or a different colour. Just going to have a little tidy up and then we'll get back to decorating. All right, that's better. I've neatened up a little bit. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush and just some of that liquid food colouring. Now Minecraft is one of those tricky things where there's so many details in it that you just, you can spend hours and hours and hours on a Minecraft cake. So this is the easiest way that I came up with a cupcake for you guys. Now this is why I'm using liquid food colouring, it just slides across a bit nicer. And I'm just, I'm resting my arm on the bench so that I don't shake around too much up there. And I'm just going to slide across in straight lines.
Don't worry if some of your lines are not completely perfect because we're going to be filling some of them in and there is quite a lot of room for error. Once you've finished your lines going across in one direction, just start them going down the other. We're going to end up with a nice little giant tic-tac-toe type pattern. Alright, once you're at this point and you've got your lovely little crisscross, we just want to go and fill in some of those pixels. Now I tried this a couple of times and initially I started by filling in every second pixel. You don't want to do that, you just want to fill in like little, kind of like little blocks of, of pixels or squares. There's no real right or wrong way to do this, so I just start by putting a little bit of colour on and just spreading it across. Just once again, if you do find that you've got a little bit too much food colour in any of those areas, just swipe it off when, you've, when you're needing a little bit more paint. I will also mention with your liquid food colouring, with any food colouring, if you are finding that it's taking too long to dry, if you're a bit impatient or if you're in a hurry, you can add a little bit of alcohol, either rose spirit, cake decorators alcohol, or even just a little bit of vodka if you have some handy. Add that, about 50-50 and it will actually help your food colouring dry a lot quicker. Alright, so we've finished painting in or filling in all of our little pixels. Now it's time to just do the black detailing. So we'll pop that one off to the side. And black detailing, as I mentioned, I'm just using that lovely soft eating licorice. So I'm just going to take that roller. You do need a, quite a bit of pressure on your soft eating licorice to, to roll it out. You can see there it rolls out relatively easily. Now the reason I prefer soft eating licorice is just because black fondant is one of those things that's sold already coloured. And if you don't want to buy a kilo or a half a kilo of black fondant just to do a few little details, black licorice is really widely available in most supermarkets and confectionery stores or candy stores so it's a nice little happy medium of something that you'll be able to find. You can see there I'm just flipping it over in between rolls and that's just to give it a nice even roll. I did try painting the Minecraft eyes on and they didn't look anywhere near as effective as actually having them kind of raised up a little bit, cut out of either your fondant or the black licorice. So do keep that in mind. You can paint them but they just don't look quite as good. Now take your sharp knife and we're just going to cut out three squares. You want the three squares to be pretty well exactly the same size. You want everything to be as, as even as possible in the world of Minecraft. Alright, so one big square and then cut it down the middle. You might as well cut four squares, it's going to be easier. Make sure they're nice and lined up. Down the middle again. Now with that fourth square, I just want to cut that one in half and in half again into another four squares. your fondant with the, the little painted cubes completely dry then at this stage you might want to use a little bit of water just on the back of those pieces of licorice to attach it but because I'm happy that my liquid food coloring is still quite damp I'm just going to let the the food coloring itself attach my eyes and Minecraft mouth details so just find a spot So there you have your Minecraft Creeper Cupcake, ready to go for the Minecraft enthusiast in your life. Thanks very much for watching and make sure you do visit our channel My Cupcake Addiction for more.